so we're on our way now and we're going back in here and we're gonna see what we can find in this trail camera we put it out here we let it sit for a few days and there's a ton of stuff out here um, all these old abandoned cattle fields are just flourishing with wildlife people they stopped farming this about 20 years ago so i know there's a lot of stuff back in here it's it's given there's been plenty of time for everything to kind of make its way back it used to be full of cows now they're all gone and uh let's see what we can find So when we put this camera out here, um, there was stuff moving all over. It had rained in the day before, and uh, it's like everything came back to life. This trail is so cool, nice and thick and overgrown. And, uh, I'm trying to talk, but I'm trying to be stealthy at the same time because there's stuff moving ahead of me. There's little trails that's going left and right. You can see that. Back in there. Those little culverts and these highways. See how worn these paths are. Definitely stuff back in here. No doubt in my mind we're going to find something good on this video. And the other good thing is... It finds me first. Only problem when you come into state land like this, it's not hunting season or anything. You're not allowed to bring a gun or any type of weapon with you. So, lucky for me, I have this GoPro and a stick. I'll just beat off any panthers or that. Thing. I think my ADD just kicked in here and stuff. right along this canal. And, uh, this side's up behind. Should have brought a fishing pole. Very thick. Problem I think you'd have though if you did catch something back in here is there's some big nasty gators that are not gonna let you. Oh man, there's a big one in that path. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see those bass behind me on that bed over there, that white sandy spot. There's two huge bass sitting on that. Whoa, shit. There's a snake right here. I scared him. <laughs> I knew there'd be a snake back in here. I just didn't think it'd be a little sand viper. It's actually called a black rat snake. They're not, they can't hurt you. But yeah, there's snakes that eat them. That's a different story.
See how quiet it is? It's because there's animals out here. Guaranteed there's something back here. dry as it is right now, I think if something were to jump up ahead of me, you'd hear that crunch. I hear it walking. Man, I really messed up by not bringing a fishing pole. Ooh. I feel like I'm in anaconda land. Talk about Social distancing, we're social distancing right now. With water moccasins. How cool is this spot right here? If you think I should come back here with a fishing pole, there's a hog right there. It's ran ahead of me. I think I should come back with a fishing pole. I'll do that. Give me a thumbs up. We'll come back and we'll do a fishing video. Right now, a hog just ran right here. And if you guys could hear it hit the woods, this is exactly where I set the camera up right here. That pig just took off ahead of me right there. I'm pretty sure as long as everything worked out, the camera worked, we'll get in on video. Unless it was a panther. Could have been a panther. Hopefully it was a panther. We did see a panther up here before. back into a hot spot like this and you know there's pigs that can smell you maybe they have babies try to keep your eyes peeled for what you can climb up on to get away from them as of right now there's nothing that could actually hold my weight one little tree so if something were to attack me right now first thing i'd do is probably get on that tree and try to get up high enough where it can't bite my leg i'm gonna find out how fast i can run shut it down. We're gonna, I'm going to grab the camera. It's back here in these thick bushes right behind me. And we'll see you when we review this tape. All right, guys. Welcome to Real Cool Adventures. We're going to go ahead and do a camera review, but we've got the children in our arms and we're going to watch this stuff and see what they like to see. Because we can't bring the kids out into the woods, but we want them to be aware of what's out there. So in our opinion, this is the best way to show them and let them be a part of what we're doing and have fun and get in the outdoors. Um, this is actually on public land out west of Boca Raton, backed up the Everglades. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what's here. We've got the kids watching with us. They're gonna narrate with us and let's get into it. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that. That's a camera guy. It's Mike. That's Mike the camera guy. It's Mike wearing the boots. If you look, and he's wearing boots. And the brown coat. That's right. That's where we burned through that one. It's a tree move. It looks like something to the left there. What's that? Oh, it's, that's the problem sometimes with these cameras. If you put them somewhere that the wind can move. To, oh, it's a key deer. I think that's a key deer. Oh, it's 
like a oh. horsey. What is that? A horsey. That is cool. This deer to me look like a whole different species well, of deer. Look at this dead dog. Look at that dog. Look at deer. that thing. I never saw deer tracks there, but when I was walking up, I saw something I thought was a giant rabbit. Whoa. If that's a key deer, or if you know more than I do about it, look at that. Let me know if you think that's a key deer. That we're about 60 miles from the keys. <laughs> I think the key deer are working their way up to where we are. But um, it's not like you see them all the time, so I don't know the difference. But I know that deer right there is only like two feet tall. And there's no spots on them, so it's not a fawn. So let us know what you think. If you think that's a key deer, I don't know how you tell the difference, honestly. And I know if you shoot it to tell the difference, you're going to be in jail for 10 years. So that's not an option. Where'd the deer go? All right, so that just moved. There's nothing there. Almost looks like hair in the back. I don't know if you can see it in the back behind the metal. To the top left, it looks like something there. It looks like a wildebeest. See that? It moves. There's something behind that metal in the top left corner that I think's tripping the camera there, but it's so camouflage that it's probably... <laughs> The trail that I set up on there is actually to the bottom right side, not where that deer, the deer was unexpected. I didn't think that would be in that place. It looks like a turtle or something on the ground. A little butterfly. I don't think the butterfly is big enough to trip it, but maybe. I see something brown in there to the top left again. I have no clue what it is. Um, we saw so many different tracks at this place. I know there's some big cats coming through. I, I'm pretty sure that there's a panther in this area because one of the tracks were as big as my fist. Um, all right, so it's the wind. Where's the deer go? Where did the deer go? That's what we're trying to find out. And this is something fun you can do with your kids too. You set up the camera. You don't know what's there. You're scouting it out. Whoa! Look at that. What is that? What's that? What is that? Is that a warthog? No, looks like my neighbor. Hey, look at the ears. Look at that thing. That looks, I'm not gonna say what I just saw in the back. Look at the warts. I think that thing is like a mixed hybrid. Whoa, look at that thing. Is that the same pig or is that nighttime? That looks like the same pig. Oh, look at that thing. You tell me if you walked in there, that thing wouldn't tear you up. Look at that. Oh. Do you see those? That's, that reminds me of that play, the Nutcracker. Whoa. Uh, Ooh, look at this. Look at this. There's Whoa. nothing there. There was something that just walked by. Look. Look was it? That. Yeah, right there. Okay, something tripped the camera. Right there. So we're not sure what that was. And it's hard for me to figure out. There's almost like a little creek there where it drops down a few feet. So it's hard to figure out size of this. Look at the whiskers. That is a giant rat, maybe. Also have reports there's Gambian pouch rats that have infested this area. Oh, that a different one? Look how camouflage. Man, those things have, look at how camouflage that is. If you were to walk up there, I mean, oh. whoa, another pig. So that, what do you guys think? Is that all the same oh, pig? Definitely, pig. right? Same pig. Yeah. Same pig. Uh, now, I, I know that's what pooped there because whoa, whoa. Poop, poop was so big, it looked like, like I don't even know how to explain it. Look at how, it, that thing literally just squeezed under like a two foot hole. Look at the tusks on them. Look at the eyes. Look how big cool. they're, oh, look at all the trash pandas. Look, say trash panda, one, two, three, four, that path has got some stuff. Whoa. Oh, it's a bobcat. Or is that a panther? Did it have a tail on it? Uh, I don't know. Whoa. I'm telling you, I saw big cat tracks. Look at the spots on the leg, though. Yeah, but panthers have spots on their legs, yeah. and the cubs. Uh, it's, uh, if I you guys, know. what do you guys think? I think there's a panther there. Yeah, my um, I, I, I'm going to have to, 
If you think I should go back and set up the camera at a different angle, maybe two cameras so we can get a side profile, I'll do it. But, oh, that's a bobcat definitely there right go. there. That's definitely a bobcat yeah. there. Yeah, you can tell by the tail right there. Yep. And the reason they're called a bobcat is because it's going to bobtail. All right, well, that's a buzzkill. That's still pretty cool, though. It is cool. So how many different animals is that? What did you see, Mackenzie? What is that? There we go. Here it goes again. It's a decent-sized cat, too. If you think about that in relation to the pig. Oh, the cat. Just give a cat scat. That's probably why it smelled so bad. To, oh, then those trash yeah. pandas came and ate it. Ew. I don't know if you guys should be watching this. This is like X-rated <laughs> woods gone wild. Ooh, look at that. What, what, is, what that? is that? What is that? Is that a different hog? Oh, that's one of those. That's one of those things they have. A capybara, right? Or is it a hog? Whoa, Chupacabra? I have a young eye. Look at this thing, though. Look at his eyes. No, that's a hog, right? Or is that a capybara? There's those giant rat looking face. things. Yeah. Big face right here. This is pretty big. Whoa. Is that cool? Man, it looks like a little horse. It does have long eyes. Oh man, that might be a, that's not that pig, is it? Uh, I think that's, that's a capybara. That's totally different. If you guys think that's a capybara, leave a good a thumbs up. If you think it's a hog, no, that's a, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, what right, do kids, the kids think it's something cool. What is that? What is that? I don't even know. Whoa. Whoa! It's a cyclops. That one eyed flow. Was that a flying, what do they call it? A lightning bug? Look at that. One eye. Ah. I don't one know what bar. that was. <laughs> oh, one eyed Willy. What's that? What is that? What is that? I just caught the tail end of it. I think it's a capybara. <laughs> well, what is that? What is that is right. What is that? <laughs> that? That thing was stealthy. Super <laughs> camouflage. What, what is, is that? What is that? Is that a lion? Um, yes. Ooh. Kenzie thinks it's a lion. What do the lions say? <laughs> Whoa. What is, is that? Is that a trash panda or a possum? What is that? That is... A whisker biscuit. Oh, there's a bobcat. So that was definitely a bobcat there. Oh yeah. And there's no denying that one. It's a tigger. Now I did. That's it is tigger. I I saw some tracks though that are, are way bigger. There are little tracks. I thought they were panther cubs. That was my cat. When I picked up the thing, and I know they're they're going to be towards the end of it because that was the freshest track I could see. Um, I let this sit up here for like four or five days. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We saw lots of stuff there. If you know what some of that stuff is, go ahead and leave a comment in the bottom. And uh, if you think we should do more of these trail camera videos, go ahead and tell us what you think and what, how we should set them up maybe a little differently. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, like, turn the notifications on for upcoming events, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks, guys. I got an even better idea. I know I was asking you guys weird stuff and whispering back there, but... You see how cool this looks behind me? I don't know if I can get you in the frame here. If you think I should come back here and snorkel at night and we we'll see what's active and in these canals at night, give me a thumbs up and uh, or, or write in the comments down below and let me know if you think that's a good idea and I'll come back in here and maybe we'll put some cameras on me and GoPro and get a flashlight. Ooh. We'll find out what's out here. Cause I got a feeling this stuff hasn't been farmed in 20, 15, 20 years. There's probably some big fish in here that'll be really cool to see at night. So give me a big thumbs up, we'll do that. Uh -huh.